Call it Friday, baby. And that is the moment in life you get yourself ready, sit down. It's been raining all day. I'm sure a lot of you have been sitting in your tidy whities and chilling. But it is that moment for the Kevin Sun Show in the crew to get down, get down, get down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Kevin Sun Show is proudly sponsored by Cruz and Pescara, PA, your personal injury attorneys. That's right. Are you in a car accident, slip and fall? Just things happen in life. It's nothing wrong, but you need to protect yourself. And that's what Cruz and Pescara, PA, are there for. You know, Cruz and Pescara, a full service law firm, offices downtown Orlando, as we say, I for yours. That's right. Cruz and Pescara, PA. Give them a call at 407 841 Zero two zero zero, and you can always tell them the Kevin Sutton show sent you, or when you swing by, say yeah, and you get the VIP treatment, yeah. And guys, don't forget you can download our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Dune, Dune, Tune In Radio, <laughs> Dude Radio, <laughs> Tune In Radio, Google Play Music. Hey, we were even on Spotify. Just type in Kevin Sutton show. And make sure you leave a rating review, and definitely don't forget to subscribe. Five stars, please, baby. Cinco. Well, today in the studios, I got my man, Dr. B. Okay. Today, it's Friday, baby. My words of wisdom for you all are that always remember to respect yourself first. Because if you don't, no one will. Ouch. Who are you talking to? That hurts. I'm talking know. to everybody. Man. So you don't My respect us? No, you're, no, you're, what? You don't respect <laughs> us? What are you talking about? Hey, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I respect myself. Do you respect us? If you, don't, if you don't respect yourself, then no. No? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, the love on Ouch. That. The love on that. Mm. And then I got my girl Mar with the late point of view. Hey. I'm having a good time. <laughs> What's going on, girl? What's mm. going on? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Dolly! Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm. uh-huh. Mm. Mm. uh-huh. Dolly! Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Dolly! Uh-huh. I'm ready, man. I'm ready for the weekend. Trying to get my walk on. Going out to meet the voters. As mm-hmm. long as it doesn't rain. Mm. I you hope know? it doesn't rain. That'll be a bad thing. Unless you're Rich Rogers, because you know y'all love slipping and sliding on through. What I up, don't Rich? like the rain, but... Well, I like the rain because, see, my air conditioning's out of my car. So I pray it rains to keep it cool, but then it's wet at the skate park. So Now, do they, do they not allow you guys to skate if it's raining like that? Yeah, you can't, basically. No? Yeah, it's too dangerous. Now, you got to surf. You got to surf. Man. You can surf, though, yeah. In a official skate park, do they no. allow you to they close the BMX door. Yeah, uh-huh. with the skaters? Exa- uh, yeah, some some do, parts some will don't. allow it, but a lot Roller of them blade. Have- a lot of them have shut that In all fact, down. that's an issue right now that I have because I'm on the uh, advisory board at Orlando Skate Park through the city, and that's something we're talking about trying to combine the nights because um, the way it works now is that uh, Sunday night, Monday night, and Wednesday night at Orlando Skate Park is bikes night only, mm-hmm. and they don't, night. Get, they don't get huge attendance on Monday nights. Plus, those are three or four nights that people can't skateboard. Oh, wow. So we're actually thinking about either combining the sessions or maybe moving the Monday night session to Monday afternoon. Cool. So that's just something we're thinking about. What we did uh, through the city, through the city, I guess their legal department, yeah. uh, drop helmets over 18. So you have to sign a new waiver. So now that's going to open up to a lot of skaters that don't want to wear helmets. There are those yeah. that choose not. But yeah. you know what? Concussions, concussions, that's correct. concussions. We're going to learn about that soon. And they're going to learn They're going to learn real fast when they yeah. bump their head against But you the know, guys, you know the sport with the most concussions, right? Soccer. Yep. Cheerleading? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just hear something from my man, Just me? That was actually like a that was a legitimate response too. That was not a joke. I thought cheerleading has a ton of concussions. Remember the Orlando Magic girl? uh, She was a cheerleader, professional cheerleader. uh, Got dropped Mm -hmm. uh, when they were doing that. Or broke her neck. Or did something? It was like I know she got jacked up. I I do. Did she call Cruz and Pascara? Right. I know. Do you remember the girl Um, that uh, wet in her pants? (laughs) What? You don't remember that? That was a big meme. (laughs) What? Wait a minute. What happened? What? What? <laughs> the magic? No, 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 no. Oh. It was a cheerleader. It was oh. a high school cheerleader. Oh, come she, on. She uh 
Pooped? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hold on. She didn't poop. Yeah, no. Yes. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay, so explain. You're like, you're half story. Because here. it's disgusting, but fine. If you want to go there, I am going to go there, okay? <laughs> I'm going to go there. All right. <laughs> you know how in cheerleader, cheerleaders, they do the thing where they put the girl's foot and they go throw her up in the air? Yeah. Well, the girl that went in her pants was the girl that was yeah, lifting. Up. Yes, that was Just actually. Better. No, no, no. She was a girl that gets thrown. Oh, and Ugh. you know, it, that's the thing. You got to have abdominal strength, and I guess you strain a little too hard, and and uh, hmm, happens. Hmm. Ew. Yeah, and it was yeah. all you know, video. You know those old little uh, <laughs> flute straws. <Ooh. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, I had to go there, but you guys wanted it. Yeah, you guys I mean, wanted. I didn't it. want it like that. No, no, no. You wanted it. I didn't want it like that. You uh, wanted but it, that is not good. Uh, Myra, how's your election going? It's going great. I had an amazing day today. I raised about four thousand dollars. Good. Yes. Good. Yes. It's going awesome. Uh, now are those for the bribes rams. or what? Hey, I'm no. Rams. Oh. No. <laughs> this guy, this is just people who are concerned about Orange County and stakeholders and want to know what's going on, you know? How many stakes have you holded? <laughs> I haven't had She's Argentina and a whole lot. Hmm. Man, I'm I'm very nervous. No We're going to be canvassing tomorrow, but I'm very nervous for FIFA this weekend. You should be. I told you we are our two our two teams. Kevin are, are playing each other. First yeah. of all, you what? have no loyalty to France. When you're not, it doesn't matter. matter. You can't have your phone on and be like, uh, "Hello, this is Meyer for Orange County Commission." Go! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got to tell you, that'd guys, be really messed up. <laughs> I was on a radio show on Tuesday when Argentina made that goal, uh-huh. and the producer, who's like Nick, he's behind the boards. He's like, oh. and he was like, like, shut and, up. And I'm like, I'm introducing myself and saying why I'm running. And I'm like, what? Who? Where? That's it, funny. Talk about awkward. It was very awkward. It's a Spanish news station, talk radio. And well, I'm, you said you said I don't have any loyalty to France, but little did you know, Myra, I like buckets. <laughs> you mean Bucket. baguettes? Buckets. I, I like buckets. Buckets? You they're like called, buckets? They're called buckets. <laughs> it would be France. better if you would have said you like croissants. No, no, no. I like buckets. <laughs> and French fries. Mm-hmm. Those aren't French. You like Tony Parker, so you should be happy too. Why yeah. is Tony Parker? He's from France. Yes, yeah, he's a French man. No, yes, he is. Uh, oh my Nick, god, is this true? You don't yes. remember that Nick Rich? You don't remember we had Factor Fiction and yes, I played Tony fan. Parker's French rap song. He's a fan. You don't remember? Oh, Tony Parker. I thought you said Tony Hawk. No. No. Yes, I know Tony Parker. And Tony like, Tony Hawk is, is on the mind. That's that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, okay. that's coming. <laughs> He's like John Cena to her or something. Know. Know. What's, what's going on with that? That's why I was like, dreaming Rich. About, dreaming like, about, uh, is it true that Tony, Tony Hawk, Hawk is from France? And I was like, wouldn't it be Nick? Like, if you want the <laughs> no, check, and I if even you want said the check Nick. a fact on something like a that, a legitimate sport I, as opposed I, to an actor. What do you call? Ah, a, oh, I can't laugh. What do you call <laughs> a nine hundred in France? It's uh, dice. Oh, um, a lay nine hundred. <laughs> <laughs> You're a retard. <laughs> when you call a quarter pounder with cheese, no. A royale. A royale with cheese. Mm-hmm. A royale with cheese. Is, is mm-hmm. that for real? Yes. Okay. Pulp, you pulp fiction. This? Right out of pulp, pulp fiction. fiction. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh. Did I break your concentration? <laughs> i never seen pulp fiction. Somebody put a compilation of every Samuel Jackson MF. They're all the same, and they're all so good. <laughs> oh, every okay. Samuel Jackson. They're all in every movie. movie. He, like, dropped them all down. Like, he's horrible, though. What do you mean? Like he just d- like bombs, boom, 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 boom. boom. Samuel. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, speaking of Samuel. Oh. Yeah. Sam. Well, that's he not comes. He comes in right when we're about to go to break. <laughs> uh oh, he's gonna have to stay around. You hey, guys, you guys, you guys can hang out a little longer if you want to talk World Cup here. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then he gets to go and do 40, his thing. It's forty six minutes worth of content an hour. You can just rob. You want to rob Peter to pay Paul here a little bit? We can talk to Sam. <laughs> Sam. Okay. Peter and Paul can deserve. Hey, so. France, the team that I picked, yep. is playing Myra's team. Yes, Argentina. For, can, 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 hold on. Can we just say, just because Phil picks a team out of a hat, okay? <laughs> oh, she's are, questioning his fanhood. I love it. <laughs> and we are from descendants of these countries. I cannot respectfully sit here and I feel and like he talk. has a pass, though. The U.S. is out. Like, he has to choose somebody. He went oh, with France, and he stays You have soon. to go. You know, the Patriots lose, and then you have to figure yeah, out different. who that's you want to go. a little go. different. Look, the NFL actually, this is exactly, exactly the same. Totally this is the same. Four years, you ha- your team's not in it. You don't have a choice. It's not like the Patriots. That it's, doesn't count. It's every. It's all things. Like when people are like, well, your team didn't make it, but you got to pick somebody. Yeah, you can pick somebody <laughs> to root. Kind okay. of. Steelers didn't make it to the Super Bowl, and I said I was going with Eagles. Um, I don't think you can do that if you're from Pennsylvania, or if you if you're a Pennsylvania fan, you can't do is. that. 
I'm from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. So I don't think you like can do that. I thought the Steelers I'm, and Eagles hated each I'm other. I'm in the middle, man. Am I man? wrong about this? I really no, have no. no Sam, I it's like us being wrong. from Orlando, like the Jaguars and the Dolphins. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if there's a chance. It's a horrible that's situation. It's like Gator fans rooting yeah. for the Seminoles in the national championship. <laughs> yeah, it's a horrible situation. Oh, it's good no. for the state. No, no. It's, good. No. it's good for the state. It's good for tourists. You have to be that. You know that's what they did with the, the FIFA with Argentina and Brazil. No. Like. That like, never happened no, ever. No, you got we're saying get... that's the idioticness of how that happened. You guys no, are from the same place. Really, he doesn't have Dude, a team in that tournament, nothing. period. He it's like nothing. saying, oh, I'm a college football fan. I'm a Gator fan, so I'm going to choose the Patriots to root for. That's what I equate this to, like not the, the same wing because they're not playing no, in the same no, no, league no. right now. I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm a Gator fan. I'm still from Florida. I'm going to pick Seattle over Florida State. That's fine. Auburn. That's ridiculous. I, that's I mean, ridiculous. I think that's fine. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, can we talk about the game? Let's talk about the games. All right, let's talk it, about it's some your nice... traitorness all going through. With no. traitorness, I'm I'm Brazil through and through. How am I traitorness? I don't. I didn't root for Argentina. So when Brazil exactly. loses, you I'm not. I'm gonna are... root against Argentina. That's that is up. horrible. I know. Look, that's I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. You guys have more culture than me. Jeez. <laughs> okay. You have more culture. Okay. You're but our an... teams don't go look, there. Look, look, look. <laughs> the French flag still has red, white, and blue in it. Okay. Yeah, he's got a fact. That they did help us in um, the American Revolution. Yeah. yeah. Look at yeah. that history lesson. Trust, Hello. Trust the French. I'm playing Call of Duty World War II, and uh, they were there. <laughs> Suck <them. laughs> That's right. Didn't they give us the Statue of Liberty? Also? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How American is that? They gave Have us the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Rich. Thank you, Rich. Statue of Liberty in your Is it still face. up? Or did they you should just root for England and call it pre-America. <laughs> oh. No, they're Ooh. no. They're like, that Ooh. is wrong, brother. I mean, that I is like wrong. That. that was good. <laughs> that is. Yeah. Listen to the Brazilian talk. Get out of here. Wow. Sam. I mean, I kind of root for Portugal. <laughs> it's the same thing in pre-Brazil. Le, le, uh, okay. Le, le, so on to the tea. game that's coming up this weekend. Tomorrow. We're, oh, yeah, tomorrow. No, well, this weekend this tomorrow. weekend? Yeah, you know, all I'm right. just so, so FIFA fans as, just want it all to happen, man. As, as a highlight, it is awesome that Germany is gone. Yes. Okay. I was so happy. Oh, my gosh. Al- almost as happy they, as I would have been if Argentina was out. Well, no, not as bad as when Germany beat Brazil. You know, I was talking to some, we were talking to some folks yesterday. What was it at your boot camp, Dad? Some uh, Venezuelan oh, yeah, and Colombians. I'm trying to have the dad said, class and these guys get in a FIFA argument. I'm like, li- really, guys, like right now? So I had a Brazilian guy, I had a v- Venezuelan guy, and, a and I had a Colombian guy and a guy from the UK. And they all like were going at it. I'm like, this is about babies. Look, this baby just pooped his pants. <laughs> and, he, hey. and they were talking about when England beat, what was it, 6-1, to one, um, the match that took place? Yeah, again, that was against like so, um, that was I against forgot. Panama, I think. Uh, Panama, and they said there hasn't been a beating like that since Germany beat Brazil. It you was know? Panama. Come on. <laughs> no, they're talking about the last <laughs> World Cup. No, I'm just saying. They're like, talking England about in the, the quarterfinals <laughs> when Brazil got swept with seven goals. They're like, that doesn't even then, happen in the World Cup. <laughs> can you can you just go like can can you just point to the five stars on the jersey and then be like, hey, how many do you have? And Does that's matter, that's my man. argument. To you say matter. seven one. I mean, like Does you're home out of the group that's, stage. You Germany. know what? That's even worse because the fact that y'all Nick, got beat so Nick left. hard. Nick left. <laughs> He's gone. Nick's like oh. five stars. Why is that your argument? It's the only argument I need, Sean. Titles. It's like the rings. Titles. It's, yeah. it's, it's exactly the rings. What it is. It's, it's the exactly ring exactly argument. What it is. And you know, Look it's how like, many we have. It's like how many people lost respect for LeBron because they got swept. You know, not oh. that many actually. Oh. I don't Oof. think a lot. Oh, man. Uh, you just don't listen to enough shows. Yeah, where are you at, man? Yeah. Really I'm getting out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I like the guy, but I don't like the guy. Yeah, that hit its peak there. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Sam, you made it three minutes. Good job. And, and Phil <laughs> left to get a croissant. Suck it up. Stay right there. I love my man, Sam. But definitely when it comes to the World Cup, you definitely got to hear this guy. He's very passionate about what's going on. And what, <laughs> admiring him together. Oh, it's Same always the show on the weekends, 10 o'clock, right? <laughs> That's his show. Yeah, he don't even know. He's out. (laughs) Nick corrected it. Stay right there. When we get back, all in your face with more action. Warning. Warning. Warning, you are listening to the Kevin Sutton Show on ESPN 580 Orlando. You have been warned. Mm. You know what time it is. Radio is here. Yes, 
sir. You know what it is. You know what it is. You know what it is. It's danger. It's danger. Get on the float. Yes, sir. Uh, I have something to say. Hey, I'm out of the I'm show. Gonna, no, I, I was waiting for you to get your stuff situated. I'm sorry. I really, I, I actually, you know what? I took it back. I don't even care. Because I wanted to say something. I wanted to say something. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But I'll let y'all do y'all thing first, and then we'll get we'll get right into the king. We'll get back into the king. We're we'll talking about the king. Hey, I, did I, I like tell it. you we're on Spotify? We I, thought we were on Dude Show. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what set the tone. I think that's what set the tone for that whole first that whole first segment. I gotta tell you, that was one of the most entertaining sessions we've had in a while. Nick, I know you're going on vacation, so we're gonna send you out with a bang, man. So. We're gonna send Is you out Nick gone? Line. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, I fly out tonight. Where are you going, Chicago? Uh, I'm flying into Chicago, and then I'm headed up to Michigan, actually. Nice. Michigan. Michigan. Mi- Wolverines. Mich- Wolverines. Mich- Michigan. Michigan. Mich- yes. But we're on Spotify. Spotify is a new hot thing. Everybody has Spotify, so mm. just type in ah. Kevin Sutton Show. Mm. And um, we don't get a cut from that, but whatever. <laughs> no pressure. No, no, no pressure, anyone. No, it's just about. easy to use. Especially if you're driving around, listening to music, you type in Kevin Sutton Show, and our, all of our episodes come up. You know, we're at 400. So it just doesn't give us the count, though. That's what it is. We don't, we don't know who uses Spotify or not. Suckers. But it's it's a good thing to use. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's all yeah, good. Yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, Basically, yeah. it's great places to hear us mm-hmm. when, uh, when you're out and about, and we're hilarious. You know, I got to tell you, I... Nick, I know you think sometimes we act very uh, retarded, but I have met people who Meyer, have heard of us. Meyer, that's not correct. What? Can't say that. What? You've been around me too long. People, Nick may think that we're not all put together, that, but, like it's, that one. but it's really awesome. Or you can say ignorant. To, I'm not going to say that, okay? <laughs> but it's really awesome to be out and meet people and be like, I've heard you show Kevin is hilarious. So that is always awesome. You never know who's listening. I notice never. whenever Kevin talks, his fingers are real close to that drop button. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, so it's my angry. Moments. I don't blame him. The angry moments. He has <laughs> to be like, oh. <laughs> but anyway, so we've got NBA news. Yeah, LeBron opted out, but um, that's really not surprising. I mean, I think everybody knew he was going to do that. But it was being spoken about. I had to sleep today, so I'm not too, 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 too familiar. But, I know who is. But Nick, is that okay? So him opting out that eliminates him going to Houston, right? That's, this, is that's what Rich big, was tell, this is what Rich was telling me. Yeah, that's the big loser in this. So everyone sees LeBron opts out of contract and they think it's a bad thing for Cleveland. It's really not a bad thing for Cleveland. It's bad for it's bad for Houston. Um, because the best way for Houston to get LeBron would have been for LeBron to opt into the final year of his contract and then it's somehow true. engineer a trade. Yeah, for him to say, okay, I want to go to Houston, like what Chris Paul did last year, going from the Clippers to Houston. All right, I want to go to Houston. You guys figure it out, but game one next year, I best be in a Rockets uniform. That's how I could have done it. So the big losers from this are really two teams, uh, Houston and then also uh, the, Boston. the Boston Celtics. If they wanted them, though, there was always kind of only tempered interest there, I think. So that's those are the two big losers. Actually, like Cleveland's a big winner because now they're competing with only two other teams. There's only three total teams in this now. So LA. The Sixers, the Lakers, and Cleveland, those three. So L.A. is yeah. out? Oh, no, L.A. I no, said Sixers, L- Lakers. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah I'm Sixers, sorry. Lakers. People and... don't want to hear the Lakers. A lot of people are upset. Big fans are like, no, this is a bad thing. Because the talk of uh, if LeBron James swings over that way, this young bench that they have right now would have to be disassembled because the cap. They're like, where is the money going to come from? Do you, where- Well, LeBron can sign on there without them doing anything. Do you think he could just say, like, I don't want no money? No, well, no. I mean, like, they have two max max salary slots there. Like, they so, can sign LeBron and Paul George and keep and everybody, keep everybody else. else. Yes. The young bench thing is more about if they want to trade for Kawhi Leonard or another player. Okay. So, if they want to trade for Kawhi, it's going to cost them Brandon Ingram, uh, you know, and some other pieces. It's going to be around Brandon Ingram and probably Kyle Kuzma in a pick. Uh, so that that's why they would lose the young bench. And also, they probably lose the young bench because LeBron doesn't babysit and he yeah. doesn't want to play with those guys. But they can sign him and keep the roster Kawhi, exactly the same. Kawhi is the way you pronounce it, right? Yeah, Kawhi's the deal. I think that would be pretty what, cool. Kawhi, George, and, and LeBron? Yeah, I think that could possibly do a little something. A little something. Now, Nick, do you think, do you think LeBron's going to play every game like he did this year? Every single game? I think he would chill. No, I, I think LeBron is hitting a stage of his career where 
if he's going to be at his optimal level during the playoffs, then he's going to need to take some time off during the regular because season. Because he has the help. To, he's right? going to have to turn himself into a, a marathon runner. Do you know, he's not going to be able to sprint through the whole I think season. more than anything, it's about the minutes. It's not about right. the games. He can play 82, but he can't average – he can't average the most or ha- have the most minutes in the NBA this year like he has the past couple of seasons. That's that's sacrilege. Which is amazing. Yeah. The year the year they won in 2016, uh, mm-hmm. I know this is I'm this is probably going to be a hard question. Did he play every game? No, he did not. He mm. sat a couple he got of games because um, he had help. Um, oh. get Kyrie. <laughs> so let's see. He goes to Cleveland that first year, and he actually took like two weeks off that year. If you remember, he went to Miami. Uh, for a little while, and everyone lost their minds. But so they the won it in the season in 20, 2015 16. He played 76 games. Okay. So he missed six games. Hmm. Like, that's the crazy thing about LeBron. His entire career, he's never missed more than 13 games. He did that uh, his first year in Cleveland. That's when he took the two weeks off where he played 69 games. Uh, <laughs> he played 69, then 76, 74, and 82. Uh, he's actually only played 82 games once in his career, and that was this season. I thought it was more of a prove-me thing from him. Yeah. Uh, a prove-it thing from him. He proved he can do it. Cool, he did it. In year 15, it was more of a, hey, look how amazing this is. Uh, and it was. It was pretty freaking amazing. But I don't think he does that if he plays in Cleveland next year with the Lakers or the Sixers or anybody. I think he plays probably around, you know, probably like 75, 76 games. That's probably the right amount. Probably right around there. Now, you know, we were talking about this maybe a couple months ago on how uh, really good elite-level athletes aren't good coaches. But LeBron's basketball IQ is probably the best ever. Yeah. He, do you think really when good. he retires, do you think he's going to go that route of the coach? No. Or do you think he's going to? I think he has so much better. What about coaching not... for his kids' team when they go pro? Hmm? He wants to play with his son in the NBA. I know, but I mean, I remember he did, even uh, if he, he did, did, did uh, that would only last a, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And the rate he's going, I, I just don't think that would happen. Yeah, his I don't son, think LeBron's going to yeah. be a coach. I think he's going to be an owner. I think yeah. he's going to own a team. There's there's a, there's a way this plays out where he ends up buying the team from Dan yeah. Gilbert. If Jay-Z mm-hmm. can do it, LeBron has the bank. Oh, yeah, it. no doubt. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's going to rename it to the Cleveland LeBrons. That'd be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. That is so wrong. No, so true. wrong. Whatever. But Houston against the Lakers. Don't count on Golden State. He's not going to Golden State. No, no, no. I mean, like, for the West. To win the yeah, West. I'm just oh. saying, like, it would be a different, complete lineup. It but would he's be... tr- trying to bring uh, Durant to the yeah. Lakers, possibly. Oh, he opted out, too. Sorry, I didn't tell you that. Right after that, too, but he ain't going nowhere. He, yeah. yeah. Maybe in a year. I don't know. Why? Stay right there. Because it, the he, already ha- he already has his rings. He already has his rings. He only the has the two. Lakers, the, just to get one, two ask, more Charles, Charles ask Barkley. Charles Barkley. <laughs> ask Charles Barkley. It's, uh, it's all about the one. Stay right there. This is the Kevin Sutton Show and the crew. My girl, Mar with the latest point of view. Dr. Dang. Phil, Rich Rogers, slipping and sliding on through. And my man, just Nick. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Woo! Bring them out, bring them out. 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 Yeah. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? LeBron James. Now, we was talking about some things, man. We was talking about, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Do the thing. Pay the bills. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram. YouTube. Once you push the button, whatever you we can do. pay some I'm, beers. I'm, 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 I'm like going at it. I'm, I'm, I'm about to, ah, go, go. Hey, the Kevin Sun Show is proudly sponsored by Cruz and Pascara, PA. Hey, do you already have an attorney you're involved in a case and you just feel like something's missing? Like they haven't done enough. Hey, what's going missing. on? What's going on? Lap you know, bands why won't they return ranchers. my call? Why won't they return my call? Well, you know what, Cruz and Pascara? You know what I need to do? I need to call Cruz and Pascara. That's right, because they do woogie woogie. free case evaluation. That's right, Man. free. They're going to let you know if everything Man. is cool, if they're missing something. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? Maybe your lawyer's just doing what they're doing and they're just waiting. And they're like, yo, we can get you $27.5 million. And you're like, all right, I'm out. Or you can be like, okay, I'm good. You know, but Cruz and Pascara, seriously, they offer full service law firm. And uh, they do the free case evaluations. You just give them a call at 407-841-0200. You can go to our website, kevinsentshow.com, and click on the link and learn more about them. Becky, Brian, Mike, they're all amazing people. You want to know the craziest thing is, like, when we were at the firm, I, I just thought it was pictures on the wall. 
and I didn't pay any attention. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But when we were there for the fundraiser, I had nothing else to do but look at the wall. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where we were just sitting there chilling. And um, it was like news articles about a bunch of their cases. Yes. And there was, a, there was one that stuck out that the lady got offered like three, four million originally with the attorneys that she had. Yes. And they took in Cruz and Pascara. Next thing you know, it was like a whole bunch of million billions. Mm. Mm. One of the highest um, gross cases in the state of Florida. Yeah. It turned into. Yep. So you never know what you got. So it's like, just take the opportunity to be like, just Yo, ask, like, just ask, like, hey, hey, bro, like, is this a good, if you're not an attorney, I mean, you know, you could just be questioning some stuff, you know, like, hey, man, these people offered me three million. Is this all right? And they'd be like, look, technically, it looked like a trillion billion. And he'd be like, what? And he's going to be on them billboards. Mm. Well, Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> this is the summer of LeBron. This is, uh, everything's about LeBron. Uh, that's why I'm going to Kevin Durant it's right a, now. No, no, no. You're not going to leave LeBron like that. love Kevin. Love Kevin. So. Durant. So he opted out, too, but. I don't think that, I think I don't it was going to mean anything, right? Poops and giggles. I, I think it was just like a a whole stunt. Might be his marketing team. I mean, there's really no reason. Where else? I mean, is guys only go? opt out just so they can get more money, right? Is that the is that the reason why guys do that, Nick? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, Durant took a little bit of a pay cut so they could fit everybody in for this upcoming season or this last season. That is, he took that pay cut in order to uh, have room for Andre Iguodala and all that other stuff. But yeah, I mean, he's going to opt out now and. Some think he's going to sign a long-term five-year Mac Daddy deal with uh, Golden State. Others think he could be a one-year deal, and that you just and do this still, thing year to year. He's still with Jay Z, right? With the marketing company. Uh, I don't. The, the th- no, agency? I don't think he's with Rock Nation him? anymore. Oh. I don't. Um, that I, I'd have to yeah. double check on that. Is that Kevin Durant's team now? Uh, no. Ooh, no. 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 Nope, no. It is not. Nah. No. No. That's like even when LeBron was at Miami, it was still Dwayne Wade's team. Okay. By the hey, way, what, Kevin, I guess you're right. I think he is with Rock Nation. He's still so. with them. Yeah, I okay. thought he left them. Okay. I just I saw one article talking about some stuff, and I was like, Didn't we see it, a commercial though? It somewhere? just seems like greed sometimes, and I'm just like, this one seems a little off. But I do recall when he first went over there, mm-hmm. he did talk about, you know, what I mean, I'm doing whatever it takes to make this work, mm-hmm. and so I was thinking that was kind of like, hey, now that we got you a ring, two, let's talk about <laughs> some money, and we'll come back next year. And when they got another ring, now if the if it hasn't been fixed, this is what you're seeing right now because it didn't get fixed last year. You're seeing it come to fruition where this is like, all right, you know what? If you don't want to make it happen, I'll make I'll fear you to make it hey, happen. Hey, know your worth, man. Hey, I may be worth two hundred and ninety million dollars. Who knows? But does that cause drama on the team? Do you think Nick? Like a, a lot of like because now the money goes. They may have and to get start, rid of some people then. Somebody might have to get gone. And they have a beautiful bench, man. I mean, they're bent. Not, uh, not anymore. Well, they did. They when, did that, 20, you, that 2015, 2015 team with Barbosa yeah, with the yeah, Brazilian. Yeah, yeah. Like, that, that, was that was a way better team. That was a way better team. That was a much right, better team. Um, that team, even the team that lost in the finals, the 73 win team. Yeah. Those benches right. were a thing of beauty. My bad. That was this, last year. This bench wasn't that good. It was not. They, they have to remake they, that right, whole bench. Yeah. Right now, they're heavy on the court. So. They don't have the backup, but they have mm. such a young team. Yeah, that yeah, those guys are all right. They didn't really 30. have. To, they didn't have to really. I mean, nobody got worked. No, I mean, like they dealt with some injuries this year. I mean, Steph Curry missed time. Kevin Durant missed time. Uh, so uh, Clay Thompson had a bit of an injury too. So I mean, they know what they have. They know they have their core four. Clay Thompson's a free agent after this next season. Draymond a free agent after two more seasons. Uh, Steph is locked up for the long term. He signed a five-year deal last year. So Durant here, he has to decide, do I want to take a five-year deal and I know where I'm at for the next five years? Yeah. I'm home. Everyone can kind of say, all right, he's not going anywhere. This is our guy. Because I think the fans like to feel that. Like you like to, to well, feel like they're committed to so the I think relationship. What the, what the drama is caused by with Kevin Durant, it's not the money. It's not his personality. It's his playing style. Like Kevin Durant's ISO ability to go get a bucket whenever he wants, mm-hmm. it's an extreme luxury for Golden State because we've seen them lose games before he got there where they just couldn't manufacture their own shot when mm, Steph and Clay went cold. Brother, my brother. So I think the Preach! Golden State fans, they see him go ISO and shoot a lot of those ah. 18-footers, and they're like, Kevin Durant broke us. 
well, wait a minute, though. Like, Steph Curry's one of 11 from three. Like, people forget yeah. in game three of the NBA Finals, Steph Curry had 11 points. But yeah. you still won because Kevin Durant went yeah. burnt God on everybody. And, and that was ridiculous. Lost his mind on, on I don't on, even think that was a question of the MVP on that. So I, I think that I think he's going to sign with Golden State. It wouldn't surprise me if he signed a one-year deal, like a one-and-one, one, oh, and we just I kept doing that. this. Yeah, come uh, on. I have to agree with Kevin, man, because like you, Kevin. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> because <laughs> remember how bad Oklahoma took it when he left? Cook, you know? Cook. That hurt. That hurt. Mm-hmm. It hurt a lot. I mean, and, and he's he's got a good family here. I mean, why why mess around? Rich with Rogers, this? where you at, man? Well, I think as far as Myra's concerned, is I think that because Oklahoma City had never won a title before, so him leaving and he's like the guy that can get could have made no, that happen. No, 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 it was actually, made it happen. no, no, no. Actually, I'm going to defer because it was a little bit more than that. He got very involved in his town. Yeah, yeah you he know, did. this is a guy who was out giving out waters after the tornadoes. People ran into him. He was so friendly. He was fresh out of, you know, out of college. It was the first team. And people genuinely loved him. I guess, who can we compare? Kind of Dwight Howard? I would, I would say Dwight. You T-Mac. Know? T-Mac was really cool. No, I think T-Mac, Dwight Howard more because, I mean. We, well, Dwight we, Howard became, like, I, I think T-Mac didn't stay long enough. Mm-hmm. But Dwight Howard did have that, like, uh, but good T-Mac, boy. But we weren't T-Mac's that, first team, though. Yeah. yeah I think. I think For Dwight me, Howard actually, had that it was the Shaquille film. O'Neal days, you know, the you music Shaquille videos, O'Neal? you know. Scotty Pippen? No. Shaquille O'Neal for us. I'm talking about for us, Orlando. Oh, for Orlando. Sorry about yeah. that. Guys, guys, the comp is LeBron. Like, it's a guy, hey, listen, the town rallies around you. You're the one in the community. Like, Kevin Durant was, was that guy. That? To, he was the LeBron to Oklahoma City. Yeah. It's a real, it's, this is a He's terrib- a guy on the building. It's a terrible example because no player is meant to his city what LeBron meant to Northeast Ohio and Akron and Cleveland and all that stuff, but they backed him and that team was an expansion team. Don't forget that move from Seattle. Kevin Durant spent yeah. one season in Seattle Whoa, then yep, got moved yep, to yep, Oklahoma yep, City, yep. but he was Damn, there Nick. for as long as the team was around yeah. and he was their guy. Like, they stuck up for him and he got up and left and, 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 the reaction was predictable. And yeah. that was kind of like what happened to LeBron when he left Cleveland and went to Miami. Yeah, exactly. But the Same thing, thing is, Miami didn't get so upset with LeBron when he left because no, but Cleveland they won got titles. Upset. Well, LeBron was so a mercenary, in other words, too. Golden State's not going to be as upset with him because he's already brought him two titles, maybe three. So they're being like, he deserved being here. We're not going to give him a hard time. Whereas when LeBron left Cleveland, it was the always first strange time, when like Shaq started trading piece. around places. It, it felt like you were the piece like, that like a, once like Shaq old left pair Orlando, yeah, dirty socks. Yeah. Like he was yeah. like, which is, which way is the wind blowing? Ah, Boston. Like the ah, La- the Lakers, si- the Lakers situation was like, all right, I can see that. You know, it 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 makes sense. Kind of, you've grown up that way in Boston basketball. Boston switch over was kind of strange. Who was chasing titles at the end of his career? No, I think it was chasing somebody to pay him. That too. Where, are you, where are you at? Hey, I don't Nick? need no money, man. I got all go buy money. What are you talking about, man? Huh? Where, crazy. Where are you at that last bit of the? With Shaq? The, yes. Well, Shaq talked about it actually. I want to say was it last weekend or the week? No, two weekends ago when he was at the Barclays Center for a draft thing, and he was like, "I was chasing rings. That's what he was doing. He wanted to, so he had three rings when he left Los Angeles, yeah. and they said you can't win one without Kobe. He went to Miami. He won one with Dwayne Wade, and after yeah. he won four, and he explained it. He said, "Well, then they said you can't win another one, so he went to." Cleveland. He went to Phoenix. He went to Boston, and I mean, he was trying to to ring chase and win another ring. The problem was he was forty pounds overweight and was useless out not, on the floor, not himself anymore. No, hey, look, man, not. you ain't be talking with me like that. I ain't no useless outside of no forty pounds, man. Forty pounds is nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Forty pounds is probably nothing. I got forty. I got forty pounds of muscle right here. You want to see my steel? You want to see my steel? <laughs> I tell you what, he was on a Family Feud, and he even moved slow there. Well, I mean, he's way out of his prime now. I mean, that's, oh yeah. I mean, I, I mean, when he's doing his little general commercials, <laughs> it's a little bit more jiggling than jiggling. <laughs> um, but I, I think it was that moment. And when you say ring chasing, it's like four. I mean, there's so many professional, amazing players that don't even have one. Barkley, and I don't even like Barkley. So I, I'm, I'm not I think even. Most going, of Americans don't like Barkley. But I mean, but you know what? I think he's that person we love to hate. Because uh, he's still getting paid be- being an announcer. He's doing all this stuff. He's, you know, so uh, I, I, chasing the ring, you got four of them, man. What are you chasing? Too much money ain't enough money. Oh. Bars. Commercial break. Stay right there, sucker.
still yep, KSS. Yep, 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 yep. What do you got to do? Hit us up. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all in the username, Kevin Touch Show. Get into action, man. I mean, there's, there's plenty hey, of Hey, hey, don't forget do. the other tagline. And the nonsense. And the nonsense. Push the button. Where is that? <laughs> oh, so can my, I can play. I'm yeah, not, so not, I can be a part of the discussion, you know? Oh, man. So my feelings is hurt. Shaquille O'Neal. It, it, we, it, I just got drugged through the mud. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, people got into uh, the whole situation where he had the Pepsi... Uh, Pepsi Cola endorsement. He, you know, he got the stuff where he, he came up with his own shoe line, and now all of a sudden, you know, Shaq, you know Shaq Fu's back. Fact, uh, Shaq Fu. <laughs> Hold on, uh, Nick, 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 you may have to dump this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's not Nick. I was, I was I like, wasn't, I wasn't even listening. What I was say? literally <laughs> just trying to say Shaq Fu, and I said, Shaq but, 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 but he said, he said both, right, both of it. the four letter words you can't say. That's all right, we got it. I don't even know. I'm going, I, hey, I'll leave for vacation I, in 12 minutes. Do I, I'm not, not. Do first, not I'm screw not. this up for me. You are wrong, Phil. I know. And first of all, <laughs> even You though, just got me dumped for no reason. <laughs> and even though Kevin does Call say a lot of things. just the right zone out moment. I'm that sorry. We, we would dump on a regular basis. Uh-uh. You know that was just a tongue tie moment. I know. I, I know. couldn't get it out. No, you said it. <laughs> you, said, you said both of them. Hey, you guys get to hear it in the podcast. No, no. It's cut. It's cut oh, out. Never yeah, once Nick dumps something, once it's, it's dumped, erased it's forever. Gone. <laughs> no, you'll you'll get it on the podcast. <laughs> really? Oh, yo, yeah, you'll get it on the podcast. Oh, good. Okay. What, Rich? <laughs> I got a question for you. <laughs> what up? In 2013, I was flying back from California, and we had uh, Steve Andorn from Van Shoes call in. Oh, he, and he used a word, you know, oh, and I don't say it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but what letters does it start with? <laughs> he did the S, and okay. he did the F. <laughs> oh, he did both. <laughs> he did. Oh, good. <laughs> He went all in. <laughs> Sounds like a but great interview. We won't be booking. Well, he's and like, I don't think Nick knows. This is the uh, owner and the creator of Van Shoes. Yeah, yeah, as he said. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and our producer at the time was kind of like you, zoned out and didn't and catch he, any of it. Oh, geez. So that went out so over like, the air? You, yeah. Well, oh, not yeah. Really never got caught. Never got caught. But uh, it was there. But he, he has like a swagger, California boy surfer style. And it was like. No, bro, yeah, yeah, bro, bro, talk. And, yeah, but he's like an old dude, bro. Old, like, old dude's bro. like he has to be like. Was he like? These are some nice bleeping shoes. Is that what yeah? Like? You know, he's like, and you know, <laughs> we were just chilling in the garage, and bro, you know, next thing you know, it's shooting just, the bleep, <laughs> it was all there, and then beep, and then we we over there, and people's like, I seen it in the movie, and I'm like, ah, it, it was almost <laughs> Rich Rich Walsh, or who was in studio? Uh, it was Rich Walsh. Yeah, Rich Walsh. Thought, it was almost like our Miko. But Grimes people were like, <laughs> you, you yeah. Know, oh yeah, Miko. Oh, remember her? Oh, yeah. what, what was okay. the movie that was in uh, the checker, pl- the plaid? Uh, you talk about Fast Times at Richmond Fast High. Ta- yeah, yeah at he Richmond talked High. about that too. And, and yeah. so he was giving us Something. the inside. You ever get? It wasn't like that you were zoned out. It was sometimes, sometimes, uh, sometimes, sometimes, some <laughs> moments in radio, and you get to interview somebody that's iconic in a sport. And him being the creator of Van Skate Shoes and hearing the story that it started in his garage and his mom yelling at him because they spilled some of the rubber cement on the ground and they oh couldn't God. get it up like this, like hearing that and then talking about how the, you know, in Ridgemont High, the guy was like, look, I need a pair of skate shoes because these shoes aren't fitting good. And he grabbed the pair of Vans like, these are awesome. And was like, I'm going to wear these. And, and now he's a multi And next thing you know, the guy is what? <laughs> Mark you, Cuban, <laughs> you know he is he is beyond. I mean, Vans has stores everywhere. It has, you know, and he actually uh, sold Vans clothing line. I mean, it's uh, everything. Actually, and, his his father, who's still alive, who's I think eighty six now, started Vans. Him and his uncle, but wow. Steve Van Dorn's been the face of Vans shoes since forever. Just amazing, just amazing story. So I kind of got zoned out, and I yeah. was just listening to the story. So when when it when the bleeps came, man, I was just like, wow. Well, really? we looked at that no, awesome. we looked at each other. <laughs> I was just stuck, and everybody looked at me like, yeah, yeah the you ain't hear that? Right next to your finger. You ain't hear that? I'm like, oh, oopsie. <laughs> Listen to him use those words for emphasis. Nice. <laughs> Great story, bro. <laughs> hey, guys, I wanted to give a promo for Monday's show because a lot of times, you know, we have something in the, in the stuff that we don't know what we're talking about, really. Yeah. You know? So, uh, you know, Kevin Sutton is, is not who he says. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but, but, uh, but look, okay. It has so, to be the new joke. Yeah. You know? right. <laughs> so, I'm, let's do a t shirt. So, uh, Monday, Monday, on Monday's show, we're going to have uh, Orlando Hyperbaric Therapy. 
come into the show and discuss all about this new technology. And Rich, Rich is uh is, is trying to trying to get some interviews because he said yeah, Adam, uh, Adam Adam Taylor Adam Taylor uh, went dad through is it. Huge no, but there's a pro surfer named um, Sean Dollar out of Santa Cruz who uh, swears by this therapy. Mm. That actually he broke his neck and had major concussions, mm. and he was looking for therapy for like a year, wow. and his brain was scrambled. He could barely think. He went into hyperbaric therapy like one time. And he saw a huge difference. Yeah, so th- I wonder if th- this could like this... rejuvenate my brain. Well, th- well, that's the thing. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have one of the, we're gonna have the text. <laughs> we're gonna have one of the texts come into the sh- into the show. As soon as we'll I smell the certain smells, I think chicken. Because remember, Daniel Bryan said he went through this stuff too. Yeah, and he's swearing and, by it. You know, but he, his career that's possibly was possibly fake. His career was over because of concussion. This guy was having seizures, man. Mm. Were they fake seizures? No. Who, who, why would you lie about that? I'm just saying, you don't. It's all for the hype. He went I away. Think, I think he that, came back. But I think there's, I think there's a line with your health that you don't mess with. Okay, that you don't joke about. You, like you call into work, like, "Hey, I'm sick," or like a family member died, like that. Yeah, you don't, don't do the family member died, but you can say, "Hey, I'm sick. I yeah, got a call." I, I don't think you joke. I, you. I don't think you joke about something like that. But uh, Daniel Bryan has claimed that the hyperbaric oxygen therapy has completely healed his brain from concussions. Wow. And I was on the phone with him today for a little bit. I didn't want to do too much because I wanted a lot of the information to be said here. Gotcha. And uh, we're going to have them on the show on Monday, and I, I want to know all about it. So this is one of the rare occasions where Kevin Sutton show gets serious. <laughs> nah, I'm already we won't. We won't. We won't. We won't. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, is that what Michael Jackson does? <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. No, it's going to be pretty amazing to be talking that technology. Daniel Bryan has mm-hmm. claimed it. Yeah. You know, a lot of people have claimed it. So I'm it'll sure be when we talk to Tony Hawk, I'm sure he has to keep up on some of the top of the line ways to get his body back in shape. I mean, the guy's still doing 900. So yeah, 50 years um, old. Yeah, yeah. Like I he mean, just did his 50 for 50. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was an tricks. awesome video. Yeah, yeah I mean that's uh, at 50. That's amazing. So Man, I, we won't I would be like able to see. leave him on the. You know how we get those 46 minutes? We'll just be like, can we lump them together? Just do. Yeah, no commercials. commercials. I mean, None. we can do that. Like, no commercials. Just oh, Tony God. Hawk all day long. Yeah. I'm so excited. Hey. Let's get out of I here. I love you guys. Keep focused. Keep doing what you do. And, hey, you know what? Stay right there because ESPN does not stop with the action, baby. Spotify. Peace. Hey. Kevin